Hi, I'm Ahmed, a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS Sydney office. Sometimes customers ask me how to troubleshoot connectivity issues with an Amazon EC2 Windows instance that was launched from a custom AMI. If a custom AMI was created from an EC2 Windows instance that was configured with a static IP address, you are going to have connectivity issues when trying to connect to that instance. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix this. Let's get started. After you have signed into AWS Management Console, make sure that you are in the correct region, then click on EC2. Let's click on Instances to view the instances running under this region. As you can see, I have one EC2 instance that is failing a health check. The health check is the network connectivity one. And this is failing because this instance was created from a custom AMI. The custom AMI was created from an instance that had a, a static IP address. In order to fix this, we need to attach a secondary ENI and try to connect to the instance over the secondary ENI. We have to remember the availability zone where this instance is located, which is Asia Pacific Northeast 2A. Let's go to Network Interfaces by scrolling down in the left panel. And then we have to create a new network interface. Let's give this a description. And select the AZ. I'm going to select the security group because it allows me access as required. After we have created the secondary ENI, you can see that it is not attached to the instance. We need to attach it. So select the ENI and click on Attach. Then select the EC2 instance. We can refresh to update the status. As you can see, the secondary ENI is attached. However, it does not have a public IP address. I'm going to create an elastic IP address for this ENI simply by copying the ENI. Then going and clicking on elastic IPs then allocating a new address. This creates a new public IP address that is assigned to your account. Now I can use this IP address and associate it with the ENI that I just created. Then click on associate. Now we can go back to the instance. If you scroll down here in the description you can see that this instance now has two ENIs. One is the original one that has a static IP address configured on the operating system incorrectly. And the second one is the one I created, which I'm going to use to connect to this instance. Now, if you click on this second ENI, you can see that this is the public IP address. I'm going to copy this and try to RDP into the new ENI. I already have the administrator and the password required. In your case, these of course are going to be different. Now I'm, I'm trying to RDP into this instance. You can ignore this warning message. As you can see, we have gained access to this instance again. Now, let's go to the control panel to see what was wrong with this instance and try to fix the issue. We're just going to follow these steps to get to Network and Sharing Center, then click on Change Adapter Settings. As you can see, we have two ENIs attached to this instance. One is showing network connectivity without issues, as you can see it says network 2, and one is showing an identified network. Let's click on Properties, Internet Protocol version 4. As you can see, 
this instance has an incorrect IP address you can simply compare the IP address by the IP address on the background you can easily fix this by flipping this to DHCP mode which basically means obtain the IP address and the DNS settings automatically I'm going to click OK and another OK and the network is now identified now to see if we could actually fix the issue I'm going to try to connect to the primary interface again and I'm going to disconnect from this session now going back to the instance we can refresh the status to see if it started passing the health checks as you can see the instance is now passing its health checks let's try to connect to the primary interface of this instance which is this public IP address going to edit this and fix the IP address and try to connect again as you can see I was able to connect to this instance without issues now as you have regained access to the instance you can go back to AWS console and remove the secondary ENI if you no longer need it now in the network interfaces console you can simply detach the interface that you no longer need and then delete it that's it we have fixed the instance and now we have access to its primary interface without issues thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS